I might want to create a single PDF from a number of other files. I can do this in a number of ways. I'm going to choose File, Create. Now I could choose to create a PDF from a file. I could even choose to create a PDF from a web page that I've got or some text or images that I've stored in the clipboard. I'm not going to do either of those. I'm going to combine files into a single PDF. Under this Add Files option here, I could navigate my way to the folder that I want to use that holds all those PDFs and I could control A or click and drag over all of those or hold the shift key down or I could hold the control key down or on a Mac the command key to choose a few individual files from that folder or I could drag and drop my files in this area here but by far the easiest option a lot of the time is to just add an entire folder. So under Acrobat I have a folder, it's this one here and that's the folder I want to use to combine all of those files. And you can see there that it's popped them in and it's put them in a particular order. When I roll my mouse over these I can zoom in Press the escape key to zoom back out, zoom in. Zooming in is handy because it tells me that this is actually number one. That we know was two. Holding your mouse over will reveal the name of the page. That's three. This is four and that's five. Obviously to reorder these pages it's simply a matter of clicking and dragging to reorder the pages. You can see that blue insertion bar there where it's going to go. Under this settings option here, you can see I've got some file size options. If I really needed to make it a small file size, perhaps I was going to email it. It'll compress them as well as it can and have poor quality JPEGs. Or a larger file size. The default is the middle option there. By default, if it encounters any errors in processing these files, it's going to continue to try and create the file. So I'm going to click OK and I'm going to combine those files. And you can see there it's done a pretty good job very quickly. There's those files all combined in a single PDF. Now what if I want to insert a page? Well, from the Organize Pages option here, under the Insert menu, I have a file that I want to insert. It's on the desktop. And it's this one here, the cover document. So when I click open, it asks me where I want to put it. The options, of course, you can see here, I want it to be after the first page or before the first page. Now, given that it's the cover, that's what I want. I want it before the first page. But I can choose any option here that I like and it will put it in the right place for me. So I'm going to put it before the first page. I'll click OK and there it is there. It's been inserted. I'm going to delete this page and do it a different way. If I go back to the document here you can see I've now got this thumbnails page view. I can insert pages here and once again I'll find that page that I want to insert and similarly before the first page click OK and there it is there inserted. I can reorder my pages as you'd expect in this view as well under the Organize Pages, one of the options I've got is this Replace option. And I can replace a page that I've selected with whatever I navigate to. A word of warning about rotating pages. 
Just say I wanted to rotate this cover page. In this view, I could choose to rotate it, and that will stay like that, that will work. In the document view, I could choose to rotate it, and that will stay there as well. Why don't I save this file? I'll call it Combined Dreamweaver. And I'll save that there. Now I'll close this file and reopen it. And here it is here reopening for me. And you can see that page has stayed there upside down. Now a trap for many people is to select a page and under the view menu, and that should be a bit of a hint that this is only a view, if I rotate this page clockwise, and you can see I'll do that again, so now it's vertical, I'll save this page and I'll call it number two, save it, and I'll close it and reopen it. Here's that page reopening, and when I go to my thumbnails view, you can see that that is still upside down. It didn't uh, rotate it and save it properly. View, rotate view, is only a view. It is not the same as choosing to rotate it like that.